my friends. It's Coach Vig. If you want more 10-minute routines just like this, click that like button and write yes in the comments below. Let's begin in pigeon pose. Breathing in the nose, out the nose. Modify as needed. Always use control. A beautiful location today. Right leg comes forward. Left leg slides back. Hands down. We're going to rock side to side in the pigeon pose. Let the shoulders relax. Let the jaw be loose. We're going to warm up and loosen up the hips, the low back, the knees, the quads, and everything else in between, my friends, with those deep breaths. Now, take those arms forward, forearms down, and we're going to do a twist side to side. At your own discretion, of course, we inhale to the center, exhale as we twist. Keep the elbow bent, or you can extend the arm all the way up. Moving through that pigeon pose, so we're getting some extra movement in the hips and the low back. Take your time. Move with very fluid movements. Think of somebody you know who would love a stretch like this or who desperately needs a stretch like this, this kind of pigeon, and show them this video. Side to side. Keep extending that back leg. You can reach the arm up and around in a circle. Some nice shoulder movement happening here. Forearms down or elbows as you twist. All right, hands back down. Pressing up tall, extend that front leg. We have an extended pigeon, everybody. How exciting. Now bring your right forearm down, left arm up. Give yourself a big side bend. And then hinge that left arm up and over that right leg. Back and forth. Find your groove. How yourself got your groove back. Put your name in there. Make a movie poster out of it. Exhale forward, inhale lift up and back, getting that stretch as we open up the hamstrings and the calves. Love this movement, especially in front of a lake. Now hold that stretch a little bit longer over that leg. You're always welcome to hold these stretches longer to really maximize the benefits. Reach the arm up and back, pull it down, hand on the lower back if you like. Now let's switch sides. We're going to go back to down dog for just a moment. Downward facing dog, walking the legs. Fingers are wide. Nice stretch for the backs of the legs. And the twist as you walk. As you walk, let's loosen up the lower back. Nice and mushy in the lower back, getting rid of the tension, the rigidness. All right, my friends, left leg forward. we got a pigeon pose on the other side. Let's do what we did on the other side, all that breath, all that movement, all that excitement, because we're making some massive improvements here. Hands down, rocking back and forth. And I think that's right when I made contact with the big gator that is floating around in that lake. So you don't want to uh, <laughs> you don't want to miss this workout. See how it ends up with the gator and myself if he comes to pay a visit. All right, forearms down or elbows, and we commence with the twist. I like the twist because it keeps me looking around all the time. And of course, it adds that rotational component to my body, to my sides and my lower back. I like rotational integrity. And move it back and forth. The arm can move as you please. Get your body wisdom. Ratchet up that body wisdom. Within the poses, there is so much extra movement that you can discover for yourself. That is something that keeps me coming back to these body weight workouts constantly. There's always the exploration. There's the unlocking of parts of the body that may have been giving me trouble for a long time. I just couldn't access it. And then, boom, there it is. And moving around. Something just hit me in the head. <laughs> How's your breath, my friends? We're in the nose, out the nose. Practice that breath. Breath is a 24-7 proposition, of course. But you can always do it better. Always practicing breathing into your abdominals, your sides, your lower back. All right, hands down. Now take that left leg forward. We have that extended pigeon. Now I'm going to do a little blooper here. This goes on the blooper reel. So I take the left forearm down, the right arm up and back. There's the side bend with the back bend. And now, uh-oh, TV's bloopers and practical jokes. Right here I did the left arm. Do the right arm up and over that leg, right? You can see me thinking a little bit like, wait a minute, Sean, what is going on here? And boom, I corrected myself. So adapting in real time, that's my philosophy. That's why we flow. We're always getting stronger and adapting in real time. And um, I like to say I did that on purpose. Maybe subconsciously I did. So we're going back and forth. Keep extending those legs, reaching up and back in the side bend. 
your sides and your, your abdominals, your digestive system also is celebrating that movement to open up the abdominals, up and back, using that breath. Inhale as you reach back, exhale as you hinge forward, up and over that leg, pressing the back of the left knee into the ground. I'm reaching up to grab that floor to sky. and hinging up and over onto that foot or reaching over it. That's up to you, but feel that spine decompressing as you reach forward. It's a beautiful thing, my friends. Stepping back to downward facing dog, shake out the legs, get the trauma, a little bit of that. Uh, holding the poses a little longer can lock up the legs in the best possible way, so we shake it out. Now in down dog, we're gonna inhale, bend the knees, and then exhale, lengthen, smush those heels as far down as you can. Let the upper body stretch, bend and lengthen. Doing some great work on your hamstrings, up into your glutes, backs of your knees and your calves. I've been adding a lot of hamstring stretches to my routines as of late because I believe I was not doing those and I could feel it, especially in my lower back. Long stretch, bend. Work in the quads and then lengthening, building some great lower body control in the glutes down the legs with this movement. Now the knees come down and tushes down those pink shorts, very exciting shorts. Tarje, looking at the gator's head floating around. And lower down onto your backs, my friends. Knees into the chest, head up or down. I'm gonna rock those legs side to side. I like to bring my head and shoulders off the mat. It engages my abs a little bit more, makes me work harder to stabilize the movement as those legs are moving side to side. Now circle them, pick a direction, circle around. Inhale around, exhale on the top at the 12 o'clock position. This is a new spot that uh, I biked by a few weeks ago and got a film down there. I know people appreciate the clouds and the trees and the lake and the gator head floating around. All right, now let's go the other direction, 10 times east direction on to do it. Keep your toes loose. Always give your toes a nice wiggle, your fingers a nice wiggle. I just worked out at the gym actually and um, started off with these kind of exercises to warm up and then went to some weights and it felt amazing. Felt good to really warm up, get the body uh, moving in such a positive way. All right, the old spider stretch here. Grab wherever you want on the leg. Keep that knee bent as much as you like. Inhale, soften the knee, and then exhale, lengthen. Another hamstring stretch that I've been doing just about daily to loosen up those hamstrings. I've been doing some extra sitting lately and driving, so they get tight. Spider stretch right here. The head can be down or the head can be up. Inhale, soften. Exhale, lengthen. You can also bend the left leg and place that left foot flat if you wish. And work within the stretch. Bend the leg, move it around. You might get some hip um, tightness in there and into the glutes. So move it around a bit. Loosen it up. Now take that leg all the way over into the twist. And then this right arm reaches up and over. Add these arm circles at your own delight. They are delightful opening your chest and your shoulders and the upper back. Swirling around. Movements like this, I'm telling you, they can be absolutely life-changing to move your body in a positive postural direction. Extending that right leg further and then coming up and let's recreate that magic on the other side. Left leg up, we have spider stretch. Right leg extended forward or bring the right foot to the mat. Inhale, soften the knee, exhale, lengthen, head up or down. Remember, if your head and shoulders are off the mat, you're engaging the abdominals a lot more. You're imprinting your lower back into the mat, into the ground, which forces your core to work that much harder to stabilize, and that is a beautiful thing. Your core is there to stabilize your movement, to be the center of your strength, the center of your movement. Inhale, exhale, lengthen that leg. You're gonna get some nice shaking in there. That's good, it means you're working your threshold. Extending, extending, pumping that breath in. Now take that left leg all the way over to the right. Full twist. Work your way up to this. Bend the knees to modify. And we're circling that left arm around. Reinforcing beautiful postural habits. Chest is open. Shoulders are back and down. The shoulders are very pliable. They're very mobile. Around as you lengthen that left leg. 
rotational integrity, rotational flexibility, and power. Great for athletes of all ages and fitness levels. Bring those legs back up. Ah, Knees into the chest. Wiping things off. And again, circle those knees. I love this exercise. It massages your back. It loosens up the knees, the shins. Adds a lot of that mushiness, that pliability into your abdominals and your lower back. Circling around. Oh, that's that's people... (laughs) I was recognized here. People went by and they were yelling, uh, Coach Vig! So that was really fun. Uh, <laughs> so kind of talking to them. But, you know, I'm like, hey, I'm in the middle of a workout. But they were really nice. They actually stood and watched for a little while. And uh, then they had to get going. But that was fun. Always fun to be recognized in public for these workouts. It's great. Circling around. Both direction, my friends. Both directions. All right. Now come on up. Checking the notes right there. Always good to look at the notes. I write down such special things to share with y'all. Don't want to miss a thing. Downward facing dog. Shaking out the legs. Bend those knees. And lengthen again. Too good not to pick up on. You can do it once. It's okay. Do it twice. It really gets into your movement. Into your brain patterns. Inhale. Bend. Exhale. Lengthen. Work on dipping the knees lower stretching the quads, stretching the glutes, and then pow, right down the posterior chain, right down the backs of the legs. Gonna keep it loose. I like to do little sways side to side, movements back and forth. I'm giving you a plethora, so much gold here. Gold, Jerry, rocking forward. Lower all the way down, hands on the shoulders, elbows into the sides. You have a cobra pose lifting up right here. Or pressing up into upward facing dog. Knee down or knees off the mat. Squeezing the quads. Let's hold this for a number of breaths. Building a lot of strength in your arms, in your triceps specifically, in your shoulders. Dropping the shoulders back. Relax the jaw. Squeeze the glutes. Getting the curve in the spine. Little twisting perhaps side to side. And building some bone density. Reinforcing good movement patterns, good postural patterns. That's why we come to this mat all the time, that we want to reinforce what the good stuff is. We want the blueberries, the broccoli, the kale. That's the movement. Ah, thumbs up from Coach Vig. Shoulder rolls. How you feeling? Keep those shoulders back and down. Leave here with strong posture. As always, I want to thank you for training with me. If you enjoyed this, please click that like button. And if you want more flows just like this, here's a forward fold. We're going to rise up. Write yes in the comments below. I appreciate that immensely. It helps grow this channel and grow my brand. God bless you, my friends. See you next time. Well, hello again, my friend. I want to thank you for training with me today by offering you a free exclusive 30-minute yoga video from the Sean Vig Fitness app. All you need to do to get this workout is to click the first link in the comment section below and boom, that workout is all yours. Go get it right now.